Hey YouTube, it's Gunner Run 13, and um, you know I was just kind of going through a bunch of different uh, firearms that I purchased, picked up a new safe, so I was uh, transferring uh, a lot of my stuff over to uh, my new safe. So um, I thought it'd be a good time since I had some stuff out to go ahead and um, follow up on the string of videos I've been doing, basically covering my uh, main battle weapons, be it main battle rifle or your primary primary secondary handgun or your uh, you know all your um, RAL or um, SHTF firearms and um, and also did a video on the ammunition too that goes with it so I'd like to follow up on another thing today and um, this video would be on um, basically my main battle site. My, my, my sights for my main battle rifle, specifically my main weapon, um, different sight options um, you can choose from and what would be best for you, what would be best for me, and that's something I want to cover um, also while we're at it. And um, so why don't we go ahead and get into this video right now and um, kind of go from there. Well, while I'm at it real quick here, I want to get your guys' opinion on something. Um, I did that video on uh, oh, single point slings for my uh, main battle weapon or my AK or whatever. I was going to purchase this attachment on a shotgun. I want to get your guys' uh, what do you guys think of this instead of purchasing that attachment. Um, I was able to mount a sling right off into my receiver right here without any drilling into anything. And it's pretty sturdy and strong and it seems to hold. Uh, hold the sling on pretty good so I don't know I thought uh, you know this is kind of going to a video that um, uh, Goodnight Chesty uh, 1775 um, put out on a uh, sling adapter he got for his uh, Remington, eight, uh, Remington 870 uh, which is the same thing here Remington 870 so that was uh, basically a uh, little attachment I put let me guys know what you think Let's get into our main battle sites here, guys. Um, let's go ahead and move over the, uh, the camera right here. Well, when you choose your main weapon, you know, you have a different, different options of optics you can use. Um, remember, this is for an SHTF raw situation, so you got to keep that in mind. Um, this is nothing to do with you know, going into battle specifically or anything like that in an organized army or anything like that. This is um, possibly being on your own a lot of the times. And a, uh, you know, a lot of the popular items are these red dot scopes. Um, the market is just flooded with different aftermarket uh, red dot scopes and reflex sights and all kinds of different things like that. This happens to be an off-brand, nothing too expensive or elaborate. It's actually a red dot and a green dot scope. Um, you know, it didn't cost me too much, but I actually put this on my Remington 870 a lot of the times. So I like going with a red dot sight on my uh, shotgun. Um, at least that's what I'm doing in the meantime. I'm going to be putting on some ghost ring sights on there eventually, but this is what I like to do. This is a very good option. Takes batteries, um, takes AAA batteries. Uh, so, you know, you do have the chance of this site failing on you. Um, you know, this works just as good as some of the expensive ones. It's not battle proven necessarily, but, you know, I would use this. I would have no problem using this on something. You mount this on your AR. You know, you can't afford the expensive um, sites, other red dot sites, so you go with something like this, an off-brand. There are quite a few different ones you can get, actually, too. This brand is actually a brand called True Glow. Um, they got a few different things, too. They've got um, some, like, two times magnifying red dot scopes like this, too, or sites like this, too, and little reflex flip-up sites and whatnot. So that's not a bad choice, I, you know. You know, depending on your budget, that's what, what what really matters, depending on your budget. Then you can go with the more expensive, of course. This is a red dot scope, but this is an aim point red dot. Um, 
definitely battle proven, battle tested. Um, I know it's a favorite, used today still in the military. They have many different models of this site. Not many, but they've got quite a few. Um, this thing I've had for 11 years, it's got the same battery on here. They say it'll last like 10,000 hours, um, and I believe it. Never changes battery out. I use this. For all I know, the site's still on right now. No, it's not. Hey, luckily I have it off. Sometimes I do that, I leave it on. Still works. Um, this is a proven, proven site right here. If I were to go into battle with an optic, um, this would be my choice right here. Uh, EOTEX, I'm a huge fan of EOTEX. I know they, they've dealt with this problem in some of their newer sites, but a lot of times battery issues were a huge deal with EOTEX. Um, you know, you got your Trigicon, ACOGS, very, very expensive. Um, there's a whole plethora of different uh, real proof, uh, proven battle-tested sites out there. Um, in fact, I'm picking up something new that... In the future, I'll probably pick up something new that I got my eye on, but I'll go over that if I get it. We won't talk about that right now. But um, this thing right here, I highly recommend. Okay. Now, you know, if you're going long range, of course, you know, scopes, many different scopes. If you're, you're using a more precision long range weapon, um, you know, especially for hunting and all that, you got to figure in something with some multi, um, you got to figure in a site that has some mul multiplication to it so you can magnify, you know, that image from a distance of, you know, <laughs> depending on, on how far basically your weapon will fire, but you need a good matching scope to go with it. If you're looking to reach out and really touch something, um, like I said, for the hunting option, this is an important thing. Uh, for your main battle uh, rifle, not necessarily so. Um, but you can always go with a actual magnifying glass scope like this um, is a good option also. Now you also have the good old iron sights, okay? Good old iron sights. You cannot go wrong with the iron sights. Um, and to be honest with you, you've seen my main battle weapon and that I will be using iron sights. Iron sights you cannot go wrong with. Um, get proficient and efficient with those iron sights. Even if you're using one of these optics, you need to have that weapon ready for when these fail. Be it if you're using something like this and, and running in co-witness with your iron sights. But this is what I'm sticking with, guys, because... And now, like I said, this is an SHTF scenario situation here. I would rather have the iron sights that there's no chance of failing when you really, really need it. Um, you're not dealing with a with a military here, you know, a uniformed military um, with tons of backup and support and everything that goes with the machine. Be it, but you know, we're talking about you on your own here. You don't have nothing if your um, optics fail. That's what I plan on going with, guys. And, uh, you know, like my main battle weapon, specifically, this isn't it, but same thing. This is the AK. Um, you know, I'm just going with your traditional iron sights. I'm thinking about throwing in a big dots, big di big dot sight up here on my AK. And I'm planning on pretty much keeping it just like that. No optics whatsoever. And that's what I plan on doing with my specific main battle weapon. So my main battle rifle, main battle weapon, will have be going with just the option of your iron sights. Um, I don't care if it's an AR. I don't care if it's um, the AK or whatever. I recommend in a nice battle rifle you stick with, you know, your natural iron sights. Get really good with them. And this isn't going to fail you guys. You know, this isn't, there's no chance of error right there besides operator error. So, to touch on, following up on another part of my main weapons, 
my main battle rifle specifically on the actual sights that I choose to use. I am going with iron sights and um, you know I'd like to take my chances better with this in this type of situation. Okay. Now that's the key part, that situation being an overall situation. Um, that's just another uh, video following up on the string of videos I've been covering here. So covering their main battle rifle, uh, main sidearm, you know, main rounds of choice, ammo of choice, and um, also now main battle rifle sight of choice, sights of choice. So. Uh, another video guys, this is Gunner Run 13 and once again I appreciate everybody watching and let me know what you guys think on some of this stuff and uh, we'll talk to you later.